Okay, good morning, everyone. Um, we should get going. Now that I see Dr. Charlotte being here all the way from Edmonton. <laughs> um, anyway, welcome again, uh, as well as uh, the audience um, uh, participants online. Uh, this is the second day of Energy Simulation Summit 2022. Uh, before we proceed, uh, for those who are just joining us today versus yesterday, I need to uh, show the floor plan uh, in terms of emergency exits. They are basically all um, at the end of the corridor. So you go outside, you turn right, um, there's a, photo, a poster gallery, which is to, to the right-hand side uh, uh, as you exit. And further down, it will be two washrooms and then the exit, um, to, uh, emergency exit. Uh, to the left, uh, another exit as well. And where you came up from the elevator bank, uh, there, there's another uh, exit. And along all the way to the northwest corner is another one. So um, we don't anticipate any emergency uh, fire alarm and whatnot. So if some, something happens, uh, we'll just take the ex exits down to the ground floor and exit out of the building. So again, my name is Andrew Sito. I'm the moderator of the session. and. VP of Technology for Energy Simulation. And the host and co-host uh, are Ricardo Gaza, VP Operations of Energy Simulation, and our admin assistant, uh, Aneta uh, Monica. So for the on online audience, uh, most of you would probably be uh, pretty familiar with the Zoom uh, setup. Just uh, move your cursor to the bottom of the screen, you will see uh, these icons for you to adjust your audio setting, raise hand uh, in terms of, uh, in case of questions uh, or problems. And Q&A is where we um, enter the uh, questions uh, during the question period uh, after each presentation. And I believe live transcript would work in, in trans, um, translate, or not translating actually, um, the transcript of what we talk about in English. And you would leave uh, by hitting the red button if you um, want to leave at any time. So um, for the two days, we actually um, uh, would, would have a total of 13 speakers from 10 cities in six countries. On the map um, is the first day we have, uh, we actually have six speakers, um, mostly talking about oil and gas uh, development and simulation, mostly, uh, you know, the pre-salt uh, prolific reservoirs in Brazil. Uh, in uh, California, Los Angeles, we have um, data science, new network and physics-based modeling. Uh, we do have uh, fracture modeling discussions as well. Uh, actually yesterday with uh, Toronto, uh, Calgary, uh, we have a decarbonization of uh, in-situ thermal projects uh, discussion and also EOR uh, from, um, from Norway or uh, representing uh, Harriet Watt University in uh, Scotland. So today we uh, pivot to talk about geothermal energy and CCUS, uh, as well as hydrogen, hydrogen storage. Uh, as we all know, um, uh, geothermal and CCUS are, are becoming pretty, um, uh, I guess, big in Europe in terms of funding, in terms of research, so we have uh, three chairs uh, coming from there to talk about um, that particular technology. We also have uh, from UT Austin, uh, Dr. Okuno to talk about um, a unique concept of using formate, uh, formate acid um, as a CO2 uh, sequester, as well as um, uh, CO2 uh, enhanced recovery. So it's gonna be a pretty interesting talk at the end of uh, today. And there will be a, some drilling aspect of it um, in support of geothermal energy development. And of course, uh, any enhancement in, in drilling programs or, or speed would help to reducing the cost of uh, other energy development. So, uh, and then there'll be a real, real uh, example in um, Aquastore uh, CO2 project, uh, seven years of history. So um, there'll be some discussion. So I would encourage you to stay around uh, to the end of it. Uh, there can be quite a few interesting talks. Um, we're also pleased to see uh, 600 registrants from all over the world. In fact, um, it's a pretty good coverage of the, the land mass on earth uh, from 52 countries. 
uh, for comparison, we had about similar number of registrants uh, when we went all virtual uh, in 2021 uh, from 44 countries. So this is quite an improvement in, in um, getting our name out there and getting the researchers and the industries together, uh, collaborating and transferring technology. And we also, uh, we're also pleased to have about 18 of our 32 uh, members, industry members registered, uh, represented for the conference, uh, joining us in uh, looking at how uh, energy transition, uh, or energy simulation uh, uh, professors will be doing the research, uh, pivoting from oil and gas or maintaining some of the oil and gas component uh, to the geothermal and CCUS space, uh, mobilizing our expertise and knowledge from oil and gas. Uh, we all know that you know, oil and gas has been around for a long time, so the knowledge there would certainly be useful uh, in, in future uh, uh, and other energy resource planning. And the other participating companies, um, uh, totaling 103 actually worldwide, um, they have companies in, again, in oil and gas, in geothermal, um, major companies are also looking at certainly carbon storage and how to utilize uh, carb, uh, CO2. And there are also service providers as well, uh, not to mention software companies in uh, simulation in, in, um, in other aspects of uh, uh, modeling. So you can probably see your name there. If not, um, please uh, alert us so that we make sure that we'll contact you again uh, next year. And from academia, we have 90 universities worldwide. So, um, and our, I guess, uh, focus and purpose is being a catalyst or a link between industry and academia. And a lot of times uh, researcher, researchers may be doing uh, research uh, for pure academic interest, but but there is a component that their work will be, you know, of some benefit certainly to the society and industry. So we are trying to be the link and the enabler and, and catalyst in support, support of that um, uh, collaboration. So again, today is the second day and last day of the summit on the 22nd Thursday um, in terms of agenda. As I mentioned, it's mostly focused on geothermal, uh, hydrogen storage, and CCUS. Um, and again, uh, presentations will be uh, three in, uh, to start with, uh, half an hour each, followed by a poster session, a networking session for an hour, and then two more technical uh, discussions, uh, presentations, uh, and followed by a one hour lunch. And with the final two, um, uh, topics uh, discussed and we'll close at two o'clock um, Calgary time for the online session, but we'll still have a one hour poster session and networking session for the uh, um, uh, in-person attend attendees. And then um, on Thursday and Friday, oh, it was 21st actually on Wednesday today, uh, 22nd and 23rd, we have a technical school organized for uh, about 40 uh, students from our professors, uh, universities. And we uh, would like to thank uh, Roman Shaw, Sebastian Geiger, and Marin Kramer, uh, three of our geothermal chairs, for organizing and planning the school and teaching. And we also thank University of Calgary for uh, um, supporting us and providing the classroom facilities. And at the end of the of Friday, we'll visit EVA Technologies to learn about um, um, the actual, actual implement, implement, implementation of uh, closed loop geothermal systems, uh, which, uh, which has a certainly scalable, uh, minimal environmental uh, uh, impact and that kind of thing. So that show and tell would be uh, quite uh, useful to see how research uh, could be, um, I guess, transferred to real life real world examples. So, so that would close our two days of a, a technical sessions and two days of a technical school. So in terms of presentations, um, there'll be 20 minutes long for each uh, presenter. And during that time, um, the uh, online uh, attendees could uh, enter their questions and I will look at those questions and, and uh, post the questions on their behalf. And the audience here could go to the mic in the middle 
and, and uh, ask questions. So uh, please state your name and affiliation so that we could follow up if uh, necessary. And at the end of each presentation will be 10 minute uh, uh, answers. And for unanswered questions, we'll uh, uh, respond uh, through email. <coughs> and there's a QR code for the agenda on the coffee tables at the uh, back there. So um, I think that's pretty well the, the program. So um, I guess uh, after the first three presentations, we'll have an online, online poll question for our audience, just to get a feel of where uh, everyone is coming from. So.